Okay, next is uh, wort chilling. I uh, want to get your wort as cold as possible um, from the boil. So when you're done with your one hour, two hour, hour and a half boil, whatever it is, you want to chill your wort as quickly as possible. So it's a counterflow chiller. I'm sure you've seen one of these. It's got the um, hot water hose um, and the, a copper coil that's on the inside of it. And uh, what it does is you have hot wort traveling from this end and you have cold water coming in from this end and uh, it goes in the opposite direction so when it comes out on this side it's amazing man probably about seven minutes you're down about 70 degrees um, and then what I do is since in the summertime is really hot there's a I have an immersion chiller coil chiller uh, a little chinchilla uh, what it is it's um, I, I fill this, this is my old uh, boil pot I fill it up with ice ice cold water um, I have quick disconnects for all the garden hoses. So I'll run a garden hose, which is probably around like 95 degrees this time of year. Chills it down to about like 40 degrees, maybe 45 degrees. Uh, and then it comes up here. It hooks up to the other end of the, um, the wort chiller. And then um, runs that 45 degree water through and um, chills it down.